Hello truckers, welcome back to American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy, where last episode we found out we might have a little bit of a problem. I may have taken out too many loans and I need to make more payments than what I can bring in per day. But just a little while ago, I was checking on the driver manager and I came in here and yeah, I'm the first I'm the first driver, which is considered a player, which I don't have a truck. I'm earning $2.45 a mile. Harry P brought in $2.58 a mile, and Victor brought in $2.61 a mile. Uh, Alicia, I'm not going to blame her because that truck had a lot of repairs and it was almost empty on fuel when I gave it to her, but she's making minus $7 per mile. So I'm hoping the thing, what happened is, is that for all three drivers that there were no loads from Alamosa to go anywhere, so they drove to Denver and they did their first load. Now, Harry P, as we can now see, he has a one point in long distance driving, as does Victor. So I'm hoping now they can take longer trips and they'll. we're going to give them another day or so to see if they bring in more cash. I can't judge it on this, I don't think. Um, so what I need to do is, well, I need to hop into a truck and start making some cash. If it doesn't work out, the first thing I'll do is I will probably fire one of the drivers and hop into that truck. And start driving for myself again because we'll earn more cash. I need to make, uh, wait, let's go to the bank. Is it like $2,000 a day just to pay for the loan interest payments that we got? So like 18, uh, yeah, 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 we're just going to say roughly about two grand. Really, we need to make about 2,500 because we got to pay for fuel and repair and all, all this stuff. So I need to make about 2,500 a day. And we don't know if I'm going to do that just yet. Not sure. But if it, if it doesn't work out, we'll have to get rid of one of the drivers. I'll hop into one of our trucks start driving for myself and if that doesn't work and I have to we will fire a driver and sell one of the trucks and try to pay off one of the loans and get rid of it that way if I can get to level 10 right now we're at level 6 I, d I do believe we're still at level 6 here uh, wait, where's my uh, progress history there we go uh, yes we're at level 6 so if I get to level 10 that will allow me to get a 1 million credit loan and what I can do there is We'll take out a half million dollar loan and I'll pay off all of these. That will get rid of the $2,100 a day I would pay in installments. And it would actually bring it down to $1,500. So I'll save myself $6,000 for the same. Well, the loan would be actually bigger, but it's less per day that I have to pay if that makes sense. So I'd like to get rid of all these loans if I could. Uh, but we got a ways to go. But first things first, let's go here, hop into jobs, uh, quick jobs. Let's see, now we got to go to the town that we were in, and we were over over here in Liberal. So what do we have? Oh, here's a, that's going to Mississippi. That is 747 for the trip. That's like the best one out of here. Um, I should get a good lot of XP because it's heavy cargo. It's high value. It's fragile, and it's just a standard delivery. But it uh, looks like all the other jobs don't pay nothing. I mean, I guess I could take just a short trip. Wait, how long is this trip? 861 miles. 15 hours, 50 minutes. It's a lot of night driving. That's for darn sure. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll get to the night driving in just a second. Uh, there was someone mentioned something about a sleep mod, but I'll get that in just a moment. Uh, where does that bring us? Uh, I, I would like to kind of get back to the Coast to Coast map. I mean, not the Coast to Coast map. Uh, the SCS maps, the base game maps, if you will, if you will. That one goes to Texas. If it's a short enough trip, we'll, we'll take it and go. Uh, that's a short trip. Yeah, I can kind of go back there and I'll bring me, where are we going to, uh, Tukumari? Tukum, Tukum, Tukumkari, Tukumkari. Sure, that's the best way I'll pronounce it. Uh, I got two of them going to Tukumari. <laughs> yeah, I won't be able to get that right. And that one's just going into town. All right, Peanut, you got to make a decision. What are you going to do? So this is frozen vegetables. That's a power generator. Or we're going to haul. Uh, I'm driving to Kenny, and we're going to deliver Kenworth trucks. Hmm. Going down to Mississippi. I kind of want to stay around here because if I have to get rid of one of my drivers, that means I have to go back to Alamosa to get the truck because that's where the truck's based out of. I'm going to try to get back that way. So let's go ahead and yeah, we'll take a short journey. Maybe we'll get something better over there. 
Um, this one pays a little bit more. It's going to be a short trip, and then we'll take another one. So let's go ahead and take that job. Uh, looks like I'm driving a, is it a Peterbilt? I didn't quite see, uh, but we'll, we'll check it out here in a second. So it's 10 o'clock at night. So someone did mention that there is a sleep mod out there, and it will allow you to sleep for 4, 8, or 12 hours. And I was looking into it, I'm like, oh, this looks good. This is like what we want. But then I read the mod description, and the author says the mod description does not work with economy mods. So obviously we're using the economy mod. So that is not going to, that mod won't work. So I'm still stuck to sleeping 10 hours at a time. But right now it doesn't really matter too much because, well, since we're driving for others, I'm not sleeping. And right now I don't think I can afford to sleep. Uh, let's park and brake on, off. I would say let's step out and look at the truck. But since it's nighttime, oh, we got a little shorty. We got a big sleeper truck. And we're, we're, we're hauling a shorty. All right, it is what it is. Uh, oh yeah, before we go anywhere, let's get the map out. Uh, let's see. Anything to discover there? No, there is not. Nothing around there either. And nothing in that city either. And here, oh, we do got something to discover here. So what I'll have to do is, can I drive past this? Yes, we can. I'll have to drive past it because I can't drive there afterwards because we lose the truck in a way. All right, so let's head on down to Union Pacific and Tukumkari, 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 sure. Uh, that's like I said, we're gonna, that's the way we're gonna pronounce it. All right, uh, let's go ahead, uh, shift here. Well, how many gears we got? Okay, just trying to figure them all out. So it's like an 18 speed. Uh, what's the load here? Wow, there's actually 17,000 pounds back there. It's all frozen veggies. All right, so away we go. So now, like I said, hopefully now that two of my drivers have a point into longer distance hauling, they'll have a better chance of getting some better jobs. Um, I would like to see them start bringing in jobs after getting paid like $500. I don't think that'd be too much to ask for right away, but we'll see how it goes. We got a little bit of cash to play with, and like I said, if we have to, uh, we'll, we'll probably have to let one of our drivers go, and I'll have to hop back in. Basically, we're going to let go whatever driver has the least amount of skill. Uh, it may sound kind of harsh, and I can't see the light. I got to squ sit, actually sit down in my seat. So I can see the light. Oh, the light! I'm sitting there staring at the wrong, uh, staring at the wrong thing. I'm just like daydreaming. Most of you are probably sitting there going, "Peanut, the light's green." And they're like, yeah, "It's a beautiful green. I like green. Green's my favorite color." All right, so we are on the road. Uh, no fines whatsoever. So the way it goes with our money and how much money we're bringing in, I've probably got three days at the rate we're going where I can pay off some of the loan, the loan installments. I mean, if they keep bringing in what they're bringing in. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I have to wait and see what they do now, now that they're in Denver. They should be able to find many loads in Denver that they can haul out. I gotta figure out what gear I'm in. There we go. Nope. 13th, is the 13th gear is too, too low, so we'll stay in 15th and gain, gain some RPM that way. Yeah, so the first couple times I scrolled down there, I'm like, wait, but that, did that say that driver just brought me in, like, you know, 80 bucks? I'm like, that's, that's not going to cut it. That will not cut it. But as you saw, like I said, we got two drivers now that have a point lock distance, so now they can do deliveries up to 250 or whatever it is. So, yeah, hopefully they can start finding some better loads and get paid a little more. I hope it works out. But if it doesn't, yeah, we're not going to restart the game and like, yeah, but restart and do it all over again. Nope, we took out a loan. Worst comes to worst, we'll have to sell the trucks, get rid of a couple drivers, and take a little bit of a hit on, well, you know, the truck's going to some wear and tear on it. I'm not going to get all my money back on them, so we'll see how it goes. Like I said, if I can get up to level 10 before, before I have to get rid of some drivers, and I can take out the half million dollar loan and pay off these three loans... I mean, we're saving ourselves almost five, six hundred dollars a day in loan interest payments. All right, so let's 
speed limit is 75 around through here. Now it's going to be 65. Put it on cruise control. Except for the stoplight up here. As long as I can keep bringing in the cash, that's fine. I won't be bringing the cash like I once was driving for ourselves, but, you know. I'm never the one, so I, I know a lot of people out there would were, were probably like to have the 18-speed transmission. That's not me. That's, that's like too many gears. I don't mind shifting. But that's just, uh, you know, I prefer like 12 gears uh, or less. Uh, six is, you know, way too few for me. But anywhere from 10 to 13 gears, that's my sweet spot for my kind of transmission. But uh, yeah, we need to get to level 10. So hopefully when we get to New Mexico, we can find some better loads. Maybe take a longer trip somewhere. Let's see what time of the day we're going to get there. We're going to get there at 2 o'clock in the morning. Or closer to 3 o'clock, actually. So I got excited when someone did leave that comment. I appreciate leaving the comment about the sleeper, sleeper mod. But unfortunately, like I said, the author says it does not work with the economy mod. Well that kind of defeats the purpose than uh, what we're trying to do here. So it, it is it's, it, it is in the workshop, so if you are interested in the sleeper mod, uh, so you don't have to sleep the full 10 hours, uh, just go to the workshop on American Truck Simulator on Steam, go to the workshop, and just, just, just type in the word rest. And it should be like the first mod that po well, was the first mod that popped up for me in the workshop. So it's kind of interesting how it works. I mean, I guess the sleep mod kind of all goes based on how many hours you have driven. It looks like. So something I, I you know, I, I'm just was just reading on it real quickly. Uh, this the one thing that caught my eye really, really quick was uh, before I kept on reading it. it Big capital letters does not work with economy mods. I was like, okay, I guess that's not going to work for me. I probably should just kept on looking on the workshop tabber to see if there was other mods out there. But that that rest mod, I think, was getting like four and a half stars on it. But whoever made the mod, it's quite interesting how it works. Like I said, it's kind of based on how many hours you drive based on how many hours you sleep and I'm not going to try to say it's this many hours of driving for this many hours of sleep because like I said I, I saw like three different scenarios and something caught my eye and said I, it, it caught my eye where it said economy mod I'm like uh, okay what's with the economy mod doesn't work with oh that was a kick in the yeah I'm like alright we'll soldier on I got bigger, bigger problems to figure out, and that's my workers. Hello, Stratford. How are you doing this evening? What kind of horn do we got in this beauty? It's a nice horn. I can get down with that. I may throw a couple other mods in here once in a while, so I may throw in like a, a snow mod once in a while so we drive in the snow all day long. The roads, I don't think, uh, I'm trying to remember because I only used to use a snow mod when I was doing the Christmas videos, uh, but this year's Christmas video was a farming simulator Christmas video. But I don't remember on the snow mod if the roads get snowed over or not. best snowy roads I ever driven a truck in was in Euro Truck Simulator 2 with Pro Mods 
and I can't remember if it was Greenland or Iceland where it was at but man yeah they got snow covered roads and boy um, you want to make sure you got decent traction going up the hill it does get a little slick on some of those roads So I kind of got my eyes peeled to my minimal advisory uh, screen at the bottom, waiting to see what my drivers are doing next. And see how much money they actually bring in. If, if I still see, if I, if I only see double digits, I'm like, that guys, come on. If you're only going to bring in $80 per load, I mean, I'm not looking for extreme amount of money for my drivers. I don't want it like the base game where they're bringing in, you know, like, three or four thousand dollars on the first couple lows I'm just looking for something like you know four hundred dollars I mean if they can each bring in four hundred dollars I can probably pick up the rest myself and I'm just talking about four hundred dollars a day it doesn't have to be per low but like per day would be good and of course as they level up they'll start bringing in more money and that's what I know we can survive as a company the way we got it right now right now yeah, the ice is very thin and the temperature is warming up. And <laughs> I can see water starting to come up through the ice. And it's making me nervous. I think we're ready to fall through the ice with the, these loan payments. Like I said, worst comes to worst, we'll just sell, you know, have to get rid of a couple drivers and possibly sell a truck. That, well, that was kind of the thing with the realistic economy. I wasn't quite sure what my drivers were going to bring in. I wasn't quite sure the first few times I drove what I was going to be bringing in. That's what happens when you haven't started a game from fresh in a long time. Then when you get back to doing it again, you realize, oh, wait a minute. That's right, I can't do this, I can't do that. I don't have points for that. Just making sure the light is still green on the trailer, which is telling me the cooling system's working, that the temperature's fine back there. I uh, can't quite see the light feels green or not, but we went through and I didn't hear no, no fines coming through. That scared me for a second. I saw the headlight hit the train. I was like, wait a minute, is the train going through? <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, we're not getting paid much ourselves on this trip. Uh, where is it? Yeah, 100, 100 bucks basically. But it's a short trip. Very short trip. Like I said, I kind of want to find... Right now, I think the next load we take is... Hopefully we can find something like going to... Uh, what's the max distance I can drive? I think like a thousand miles maybe. So maybe upstate California is maybe about as far as I can drive. Just try to get some experience. And of course get paid a decent amount of cash as well. The cash, cash, cash. Always give yourself a little bit of room in case you have to drive around. I cannot really see anything outside our vehicle tonight oh another question that was asked um, yeah about Cindy um, how do you get Cindy Cindy is actually part of a mod and I want to believe it's been a while since I actually looked at the description of the mod I think it's in the workshop workshop tabber on Steam and I believe it's um, it's actually S-I-S-L mods. It is, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things you can throw down in the cab. I mean, you could have like Pepsi cans, uh, booklets, a whole bunch of stuff. I'll have to see if I can um, find that for you and put that in the link in the description below. Works on a lot of trucks.
lets you decorate the inside of your truck a lot more. I mean, you can have stuff hanging out the, uh, the rear view mirror, stuff on the dash. But that was kind of weird last episode when I was driving along and I was like, um, how did I lose a whole bunch of money? And I was like, I, I don't understand it. And that kind of came to my mind. I said, that's because I gave her the Volvo truck that had a little wear and tear on it. And if she drove all the way up to Denver, and then she took like a little short dirt journey in Denver. Yeah, she didn't get paid much. And then she refueled the truck and it got repaired. And the cost was a lot more than what she brought in. But after I was in the driver manager, I saw that the other two drivers are pretty much making the same amount of money I am per mile. And I'm thinking, okay, so they just they just may have... If you remember our first episode, pretty much we just drove around town a bit ourselves, not bringing a whole bunch of cash. But once I got some long distance on my profile, yeah, the money started to come in a little bit better. So that's what I'm hoping that's going to happen with them. All three of them. That's why we got all three of them where their skill points going to long distance only. I w I'm glad I didn't leave it at balance to begin with. Usually that's what I do, but that's that's because that profile, you know, I got tons of tons of cash, so it doesn't matter. So I was like, yeah, they'll just level their own time. If they lose money, it doesn't matter because my company and my single play profile, I think I'm, my company is earning like 10, 12 million dollars a week without even trying, and I'm always buying and selling crap for my own trucks. I don't know if we're going uphill or not, but uh, we're not gaining much speed here. gets me that they always got to slow way down when the lane goes from one lane to two lanes. So basically for, like I said, the next day or so to see if we can keep our drivers where we are, I got to I got to keep my head above water and just take all the all the calls that I can do all the deliveries that we can do need to be causing an accident yet. I haven't caused an accident just as of yet. Now that I mentioned it, I probably will in the next, like, minute or two. Fourteen miles. I come to a stop. Oh, so we're pretty much there. We're just driving around to... I think that's going to be a truck dealership we're going to be driving past. Apparently I'm turning left here. and right, left and right. Now the one thing that could be happening right now is also my drivers might be sleeping. Which is fine. I have no problem with them sleeping. I'm just, I'm just anxious to find out what they do today for the next delivery. That's all. I'm just really anxious. Uh, so it's a Peterbilt. Can see the sign. No, I'm not going to sing the song. And if you don't know what song I'm talking about, you don't want to know because you don't want to hear me sing it. If 
you think an ambulance would be just a little bit more reflective at night. And there's a fire truck behind that. What if they just got, uh, just went on a call and they're going back to their station? So I do believe we've already unlocked a Peterbilt somewhere. I am hoping for a decent job out of here. I didn't look to see where I was going. Uh, Union Pacific. Seems, it seems like all I'm doing is turning right then left, right then left, right and left. My driver sits awfully high in this truck. I have to squat down to see the light. I mean, I can see the other light, but I didn't know if that was a light for turning only or... I'm kind of confused by the GPS up here. It looks like I'm making a loop to get into this place. It must be I'm going under an overpass or taking the overpass. I say since we're climbing up, I'm going on the overpass, I gotta loop down and around. stop sign here but look for traffic and let me like I said don't need to be t-boning anyone and here we are This should be somewhat easy to back into because we got a short trailer. kind of dark in here though uh, reverse please there we go to me the shore of the trailer is a little bit more difficult than it is the back end because it turns a little bit quicker than it used to I kick it more over that way go. Ding. No, I said ding. Thank you. Park and brake. Engine off. Decouple. Excellent. I'm pretty sure I didn't level up. Not even close. Not even close. All right. No rest for the wicked. Let's go ahead and actually before I do that, let me go into driver manager. Um, does it say they're taking a load? Yep, it says, so you got like a little, the status of a little arrow on there. You kind of see that they're on duty. She's on duty. On duty, they're not sleeping. So they are making deliveries. Or at least they are on a uh, delivery. All right, we need to take the job market. Quick job because we don't have a vehicle to take. And wait, where are we here? We're in. Yep. 
we're here. Um, well, that's going back that way. I don't want to do that. That's a short journey. Oh, come on. Give me, give me something here. Uh, Texas, Sterling, Colorado. I mean, that is kind of heading north, but not the way I, th I was wanting to. And I really don't want to be taking jobs that don't pay as much. Uh, oof. I'm looking for something like high value or... Yes, Texas. I mean, that goes to Utah. I guess it's not too bad. 635 miles, 11 hour trip. I'm fighting with myself again. That was just going up the... Hmm. Pueblo. In a Mac. Alright, I mean, I guess we can take this one. We can kind of go that way. I think that'll work. So he says. Because um, I, I would like to find a longer one going up to Washington, Oregon. but And plus we get to take a Mac. I can't remember if I've taken a Mac yet or not in the series. I don't remember. I didn't even see what I was hauling. I just like, uh, what truck we, we got and uh, where we headed. All right. Same thing as always. Let's make sure we put in neutral. Parking brake. Uh, gotta make sure we turn our lights on. In case those have them and the dash lights need to come on down. That's good. Um, how many gears have we got here? Well, so this is 12 speed? Might be. Alright. Uh, that should be a piece of cake for me then. I'll make sure my neutral parking brake's on. Stick our head out the window. Looks like a plain Jane kind of a trailer. Uh, no, it's a Walmart trailer. Am I going to Walmart? Am I leaving Walmart? I'm going to Walmart. All right, all right, we can we can do it. Um, let's see, it's about a six-hour journey. Well, we'll get there in the morning hours, which is nice. By then, we should be able to see the truck for a change. Oh yeah, before we go anywhere, let's get the map up. All right, so we're going this way, according to the red line and GPS. Like always, we're just looking for anything that we possibly might be able to discover. Yeah, it looks like we've already been up that way, but we haven't been this far north. And once we get up here, oh, there's a, uh, but see, it already says Kenworth on here. So I think we've already unlocked a Kenny. So not a big deal to unlock another one. But no recruitment agency is not that it matters because we won't be able to recruit any drivers anytime soon. All right, let's go ahead and take the parking brake off with that button there. Uh, what's the weight on this thing? Ooh, uh, 40, we'll just say 44,000 pounds of salt. That's a lot of salt going to Walmart. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. Um, I just realized this truck does not have a GPS on it. Alright, so I mean, I can turn the GPS on by doing this. And let's see, I think uh, let's see what one that's no, too much I think that one right there will have to do hmm I thought old trucks at this point pretty much had GPS's in them but apparently not what's up with you Mac no GPS's oh it's going to feel weird with that down there in the corner I haven't had a drive with that on in ages Now, I did drive a Mac in my other profile when they came out. Oops, I cut that truck, that car off a little bit. All right, he's got, we got room. We got room. Engine does sound beefy. Oh man, it's 
content, yeah. <laughs> Nothing would take me a minute or two to get used to having that that GPS down there and the way it rotates. A lot of traffic for three o'clock on a Monday morning. I think I'm sticking out across the old line behind me a little bit there, but hey, got to get in line for the traffic light. And hopefully by the time we get there, we can see if our drivers go out to yellow light. Uh, this is not going to be good. Ah, son of a... 240. So basically what I just did there... That's why I'm getting paid for the whole job. Brilliant peanut. Just brilliant. So now basically I'm going to break even on this delivery. Oh, I should have just slammed on the brakes and just, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Genius. That's what I am. Best part is if I do anything else stupid along the way, which is highly likely today, we'll lose money. I know I said we, I should just say me. It has nothing to do with you guys. <laughs> uh, it doesn't help when you're trying to bring in the cash and you take, take a red light like that. Truckers are given a little bit of clearance once in a while because because of that. But. Yep. All right. I mean, I can't I can't go back in time and, and not go through the light. It's not Back to the Future we're playing here. Probably getting paybacks because we're not technically sleeping, so maybe I'm overtired. down to this engine here, so I don't know the sweet spot for the RPMs. Alright, so 285 for that driver there, uh, Alicia. Oops, too busy looking. So Alicia just brought in 287. That, that is okay. I can deal with that, because I'm pretty sure she can get two deliveries done in a day. And she probably just leveled up and got some long distance in. So, I'm thinking now it possibly could work if I stop screwing up and not go through red lights or get in accidents or speed or uh, cross uh, pass on a double solid line or you get the picture at this point that's going to bug me now that I went through that light and I was like yep that, that, that's going to hurt that is definitely going to hurt. Let's throw the cruise control on. You know, and plus, once they get more levels on them, they'll start, you know, they'll, their experience will go up. They'll get paid a little bit more, or we'll get paid a little bit more. They'll bring in more cash, which then all works out. It's just going to be really, really walking on thin ice here for a little bit. I'm still going to, when we get to level 10, take out the half million dollar loan. Uh, he brought in, how much did he bring in? Oh, that's, yeah, pay attention to, yeah, I need to pay attention to where I'm driving. Um, yeah, he just brought a whole bunch of good amount of cash right there. So, it's looking like it's going to work. I'm feeling better about it now, even though after I went through a red light and screwed up. And they're probably thinking, uh, dude, what are you doing, man? You're, you're killing us. So I'm kind of curious out there, you Mac drivers, the one who have Mac trucks, I'm pretty sure this is a sleeper, isn't it? I mean, do Mac trucks, I'm pretty sure at the higher end Mac trucks, they, but I would assume they have the GPS in them. Or the high beams on this thing, well those are, those are bright high beams.
Oh, oh I missed what the, that driver brought in. I have no idea. It didn't say, though, that they leveled up. I just noticed that. It will tell me when they level up as well. I just, I just forgot about that for a second there. Yeah, so after... After they deliver, if they leveled up, they'll say, uh, Victor has leveled up. I'm like, oh, that's, that's, that's nice. But it's all about the money right now. If they can, if I, if they can keep bringing in $600 per load, if all three of them bring in $600 per load, that covers the loan payment and then a little bit of extra cash that I bring in. Of course, we still have to pay for fuel and repairs. But getting back, um, yeah, Mac drivers out there, I'm pretty sure, I shouldn't say I'm pretty sure, I would bet on that the higher end Macs have GPSs in them. So I'm almost pretty sure the Mac I drove ages ago had a GPS in it. Flipping red light. Uh, okay, it's starting to get a little bright out. It's also a shame that that sleeping mod does not work with economy mods. Uh, Two hundred and sixty-three dollars from Harry P. not level up from that delivery. Well, it's almost like, who cares? They're bringing in the cash. And I'm spending it by going through red lights. Do not pass. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. In fact, pay $200 for going through a red light. Uh, I do feel better, in a way, because I was thinking, oh man, I, I'd spent all that money in the trucks, I was hoping this would work out. I did not want to have to fire a driver and get back into one of my trucks. Because I want to drive other trucks for a while. I think what I'm going to do next, when we hit level 7, is I'm probably going to put a point into long distance again. I may rethink that when I get into my skills. in all right appreciate it but uh, you can kind of stopped on the interstate which is not the best thing but I appreciate it go. So yeah, as of right now, I think uh, we'll be keeping our drivers for through this episode, at least the next one. And it's only going to get better because they're going to level up. And like I said, they're going to start bringing in more cash. So it's all going to work out. We'll have to turn on our wipers here. I haven't checked out yet. I gotta check out the key bindings for rolling down the windows. Not that I would roll down the windows during a rainstorm. Except the sunroof. That I can't see.
Rest area, one mile ahead. Well, I don't need to rest. Really, my kind of goal right now for traveling around the map, I kind of want, like I said, I want to head up to Oregon and Washington and you know, I, want to, I want to venture back up into Canada because I, I did an episode, uh, you can find it on the American Truck Simulator playlist. This is the American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy playlist. But on the other playlist, the last episode would be where we ventured up into Canada. That is not good. Uh, but no damage on anything. How you like that? Uh, yeah, see? Take my eyes off the screen for a second. I was trying to use my other mouse on my other screen and uh, see uh, what what episode that was, but shouldn't be doing that when I'm trying. I should just explain to you. Yeah, that's on the American Truck Simulator playlist. That was the last episode. I know we went to Canada. We did a couple deliveries up there. Now I just need to get back up there at some point. And that, uh, if you're wondering the map that we'll be going on, that is also through Pro Mods. And I think in order to get that map, you have to go on their website to get it. I don't think that's in the workshop at all. Rain, rain, go away. Farmington, yep, we've been there. Remember that much. Right now we're gonna cruise right up through on the interstate. I don't get how by doing just now when I went off the road there for a second. Doing we're just gonna say 70 miles an hour and I don't know what I ran over. Because I wasn't looking at the screen. But the truck took no damage, right? If I remember the truck, the trailer, and the cargo. The yeah, truck is at 0%, trailer is at 0%, cargo is at 0%. That's why I don't uh, drive out of cab either because I'm terrible at that. Did not turn at all there. Hmm. Maybe because it's raining, the roads are getting wet. I, luckily, there was no one in the fast lane because I turned the wheel and the truck just did not turn. I am doing 75 around that corner, so that could be one thing. But the roads are a little bit wet now, and the speed limit has dropped down to 65. And yeah, I'm trying to avoid all the tickets now. I mean, I'm always trying to avoid tickets. That red light just caught me off guard. Let's turn the wipers off. Yep, we can do that. So I'm also trying to remember, does the weather affect if the roads get slipperier or not? I don't remember. I want to say they do, but I, I can't say for sure. Never used to when the game came out, but I want to say they added that, or was that a mod I had at some point? Like I said, you, you get you play your your profile long enough, and you forget what is a mod and what is base game stuff. And I don't remember. Uh, hey, Walmart trailer, um, you going to the same place that I am? Who's going to get up the hill the best? Uh, looks like it's us. Of course, he may be taking the off ramp. I'm losing speed as well. Don't text and drive. Don't look at another computer screen and drive either. Um, oh, way station. All right. Um, is that the way station up here? Yep, it says way station. 
Where is that way station? That's a fuel depot over there. Is the way station... Oh, I see it now. All right. I don't overrub the engine. All right, start taking bets on what we weigh. We, we know what the trailer weighs. Uh, 65,000? Is it going to be 65,000? see what we weigh here. Oh wow, 77,000. So the truck weighs 30,000 pounds. Our, our trailer cargo is 44. But the other day taking that freight liner, that, that engine, I did think about it a little bit afterwards. I mean, is it the engine that's quiet or is it the cab that is well insulated that makes it quiet? And uh, are the freight liners cascades? I think it, they might be. I didn't even really look. I decided we just wanted, I'm going to drive a freight liner. I think it was a cascade. Seventy-five miles out. Company is bringing in some cash today. I'm not. I'm breaking even, basically. I'm kind of hurting the progress here. Now we'll put it on cruise control here. Don't need to be going too much faster. better to keep it under the limit right now than go over it, right, Peanut? Because <laughs> right now, if you do anything else stupid, then, uh, yeah, we lost money on this journey. Right now, basically, we're making four bucks, right? The ticket was two forty, and we're bringing in two forty four for this delivery. Just like real life, it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay. on the corners just in case last time I was on a sharp corner this truck didn't really turn the best uh, Pueblo is where we're going right yep to Walmart all right gotcha seeing we're 40 miles up we'll start looking for I mean I, I pretty much know we're taking the I-25 all the way up to Pueblo That is over there. It's like an airport. We're not anywhere near the Denver airport, I don't think. We are in Pueblo. Not this exit, though. Not this exit. And slow down there a bit there, but it's only 55 through here. We need to take a screenshot of this Mack truck somewhere. Probably when I pull in the Walmart, that'd be a good spot to do it. Actually, I think I have a good idea for a thumbnail. <laughs> I'll just, well, you already know what the thumbnail is. Well, I'm trying to keep it a secret for you. You already saw it. A 
feel a little salty for getting uh, going through that red light, and we're hauling salt. That'll work. Something like that. Alright, this is where we're getting off here. Of course, you can see the GPS as much as I can. Got Walmart's that way. Thank you. You better not give me a ticket for going through a yield sign. Like I did the other day. Alright, this would be a bad spot to try to take a screenshot of the Mack truck before I forget. Let me pop that in the neutral. Parking brake. Let's go ahead and step outside the vehicle. Uh, let's get rid of all this mess on here. No, that's... No, there we go. There we go. And it's got the nice Mack Bulldog on the front as well. Sweet. That'll work. All right, hop back in. Did my truck turn off? All right, not sure why I kept turning off for. Oh, parking brakes on though. That that doesn't help. And looks like I'm going into here. Looks like my delivery is like right around this corner here. Uh, it's right there. That's kind of an easy delivery if you ask me. Of course, I haven't delivered it yet. Uh, no, I don't want R3. Let's put it into R1. Bring the trailer far enough around so we have to cut it kind of sharp here. I think the front end will miss everything. Yep, seems like it did. And I think right there. Yep, that's good. I might be a little bit too far over on the passenger side, but I think I'm still going to be inside. Yep. Let's go ahead and park it on up. Park and brake. Turn the engine off. Let's go ahead and get rid of the GPS. Don't need that anymore. And unload the trailer. She is decoupling. Yeah, the XP is decent. Uh, the money kind of is good. <laughs> I mean, it is good money, but... Yeah, 240 on a speeding, uh, yeah, speed red light, that's not good. All right, so overall, uh, let me just check on the driver manager, see what they're doing. Um, they're all resting, so that's how you know if they're sleeping or driving. Yeah, they're all resting. So you can see he's, uh, Henry P is actually bringing in 281 a mile, which is better than what I'm bringing in. Um, she went from minus 7 to 299. She was like a, what, minus just over $7, so she made like... She, four dollars a mile in the last trip which is pretty darn good uh, but she did not level up which is it's all right I mean she will pretty soon and once she gets a point into where is she Alicia uh, once she gets a point into long distance uh, she'll be doing a little bit better on herself but I think we're okay if we exit out of here um, your money not my money where where am I looking for a uh, profit per seven days so in theory seven days a week we got two thousand dollars to pay off for a day i need about fourteen thousand dollars in seven days just to cover the loan so can we say i need to be bringing like 20 grand a week to really make it profitable we're not going to know what this is yet because our driver we've only had a drivers for just a little bit over a day out of these seven days so it's hard to tell what that's going to be but i think we're going to be fine i think we're going to we're, we're going to it may be a struggle the first day or so if i can stop going through red lights or getting tickets or whatever um and don't lose money that way uh yeah once we all start leveling up we're gonna be making more money and that'll work out fine so i think we're gonna be okay i think and someday uh we'll have one of these trucks where i can drive um new upgrades available i just want to see what's available 
Uh, yeah, rims. Um, I'm, I can get some different paint jobs. Uh, level 5, I unlocked all of these on the trailers and lights and paint jobs. Uh, but nothing for... I'm kind of curious here because... Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to have a truck for a while. Let me go to Truck Dealers, Volvo. Uh, let me just say Buy Online. Actually, I can... Oh, I don't think I've unlocked a Mac yet. I should be doing this off camera, but the, the main thing... Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. My internet's uh, disabled right now. I'm... I'm playing offline so forget it I'll just check that later on I kind of forgot I had that disabled for a few minutes um but yeah I think we are doing fine right I don't have I haven't found a Mac yet so we found a we got a Volvo Western Star Peter and a Kenny so we got to find I don't want to say we, we're, we're not out there you know just driving to cities where there is a freight liner or there is a uh um wait what are the other ones we're looking for <laughs> uh Western Stars is another one right freight liner Western Star um, yeah, Mac. I haven't found a Mac one yet. I was going to check out a Mac to save that GPSs, but I don't think I'm high enough XP anyways. But I think I think we're going to be okay with the drivers. They're bringing in the cash. Um, I think everything's going to work out fine. And we'll find out more next episode. Next episode, where we're going, I don't know yet. We'll find out, uh, well, next episode when I check on the job market. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you next time right here in American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. But until then, have a good one.